Firma Hans Werner. The company Hans Werner was founded in 1936 by my grandfather. We are a wholesale company in the tool industry. Our customers benefit from the fact that we can supply them with an extensive, pre-selected assortment of items from over 300 suppliers from Europe and worldwide. But we source our goods mainly from Germany. We set a very high value on quality. And I think that it is certainly also an important point for our customers. And this should continue. Hans Werner currently has about 100 employees. At our facility, we have about 10,000 items in stock. Our processes were 100% manual, and through Gebhardt, we could automate our warehouse, which was important at that time because we had space problems and, above all, performance problems. It was, of course, a huge challenge at the time, as we first had to dismantle an entire aisle during ongoing operations and then install a new steel structure. In retrospect, we are, of course, glad that we had strong partners at our side who supported us every step of the way. The Hans Werner company receives around 250 to 300 orders a day. The lady at the goods receiving department then decides whether the item will be stored in the high bay warehouse or the manual warehouse. If the articles go to the high bay warehouse, it is first paired to a box at the bottom, meaning before the item is placed in the box, the warehouse receipt is scanned so that the system knows which article is in the box. The container then moves to the high bay warehouse. From Gebhardt, we currently have three SRM aisles and one MLS aisle with six shuttles on top of each other. Fast-moving items are stored in the MLS area. The fast-moving item stock is then stored in the SRM area so that no more than 10 boxes of the same item are stored in the fast-moving area. C items are also always kept in the SRM area. The conversion of the SRM aisle into our MLS system increased performance in particular, which was important for us to get more output from the high bay warehouse. Picking in the automatic mini-load warehouse also means, of course, that the goods come, in this case, to the man, i.e. the container travels to the picker. The employee at the automatic mini-load warehouse processes two workstations, with eight orders being processed in parallel. He sees in the system which articles have to be picked for which order by the pick to light. Once picked, the articles are placed in a container by the employee, who then completes the rest of the order by picking the remaining articles from a trolley. Depending on the size and weight of the order, it is then packed either by a shipping company, i.e. on pallets, or simply just as a DPD package. We are very satisfied with Gebhardt in general because I always felt that everything fit together very well from a human aspect. And for us, that was very important. Even when problems arose, we were simply always in contact and approached matters in a solution-oriented manner.